everyone! I hope you're having an amazing day. This is my first day filming on this new camera, so let me know what you think about the quality down below. My other one, rest in peace, she is no longer with us, so I'm now filming on the Canon 80D. So I think I'm liking it so far, but it's really hard to tell from like six feet away. So we'll see when I'm editing. So today I'm coming at you with my monthly favorites. I have some really cool stuff that I'm going to show you guys. Some stuff that I've been using for a while and stuff that I'm really excited about for like the spring and summer. So a little bit of a mix of both. I do have some skincare in there because you guys know I've been all about skincare lately so I am going to kind of highlight the things I'm most excited about and of course I have makeup products as well. So first is a product that I've been loving for a long time and I'm fortunate enough to be working with them today, which is super exciting. This is La Roche-Posay. This is a micellar water that I have been obsessed with. This is my old one, but they did send a new one by, so we'll use this because it looks prettier. This is their Micellar Water Ultra. I purchased this, not this one they sent this, you know what I mean. I purchased mine at Target. They have it kind of in their skincare um, aisle by the more higher end products that they carry at Target. And it intrigued me just because I love the packaging and I had heard really amazing things about the brand. So it's one of the reasons why I'm super excited to be working with them, you know. I just recently included this product actually in a morning skincare routine video, so if you're interested in my whole kind of morning routine, I will link that down below for you guys. But I love my cellar waters. You can use them in a ton of different ways. You know, I like to use them maybe after I'm working out or going to the beach or something like that and you just want a quick cleanse and you don't want to really wash your face with a soap or you can use them kind of to tone your face because of the pH balance or you could use them to remove makeup, you can reuse them, reuse, <laughs> you could use it to fix some makeup mistakes. I know sometimes people use like a, a makeup remover, like a, an oil based one and what I, and I used to, and what I found is that if I do that it's hard to kind of get rid of that oil so then it's really difficult to go back and put products on top so this is just a really good kind of all-purpose product that I think most of you guys if you don't already use one you're going to want to add that to your regimen this product in particular is soap free alcohol free and paraben free which is great because as I talked about in my skincare video I don't like to use soaps very often on my skin. What I find is that the less I use like a, a traditional cleanser, the better my skin is overall. So I love that it's formulated without that. And at the same time, this product still gets rid of 99% of 24 hour foundation. So it still does an amazing job at cleansing your skin. This is actually a new and improved formula, which is ultra effective and ultra gentle, which is amazing. And it's tested by dermatologists and ophthalmologists to be safe for sensitive skin and eyes. So if you guys are like me and you have really sensitive eyes, this is a huge bonus. It's also non-comedogenic and oil-free, so it's not going to clog your pores or cause any breakouts or anything like that, which is great. And the oil-free piece is great for me because you guys know, or maybe you don't, but I'm telling you now, I do have eyelash extensions, so I need something that's oil-free to remove makeup around my eye area. So and it's actually more difficult to find something that's oil-free than you think. Even a lot of cleansing makeup wipes uh, contain oils in them. So I'm obsessed with this, you guys. I really think you'll enjoy it. You can get it at Target, Walgreens, CVS, online at Amazon, which I'm a fan of as well. So of course I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. Just sticking with skincare, this is also something I've been super excited about and these products are from The Ordinary. If you're not familiar, I believe this brand is based in the UK. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it is, and it's just recently launched with Beautylish. If you guys haven't shopped at Beautylish, I love that website 
so much. But anyways, it's a skincare brand. This is what the packaging looks like. Really clean, simple, almost like medicinal looking glass bottles. Really high quality looking and feeling, yet still really simple. And it's interesting because the products are sold not by claims like a lot of other products are traditionally. How do I explain this? You know, maybe you'll say, see a serum and it says anti-aging serum, anti-wrinkle serum, anti-acne moisturizer, etc. Things like that is what we're used to seeing. And these are just sold by active ingredients. So take this one for example. It just says Argan Argoline Solution 10%. So what does that mean? This one is lactic acid, 10%. This one is 100% organic cold pressed rosehip seed oil. So as you may notice, it's a little bit more difficult to shop if you're not familiar with skincare ingredients. But if you do go to beautylish.com, I'll link it down below. Uh, and I'll actually link to the, the guide to help you guys out. If you're not sure, you can look under skincare concerns maybe or browse through products as a whole and it does give you a little bit of help around what this product does. And of course you can dig in and do more research as well. What I found helpful is I watched a lot of reviews on The Ordinary because I did see um, some really great ones, I believe. What's her channel name? Gothamista, I want to say. <laughs> I hope I'm not butchering that, but I really enjoyed her videos. And I really thought she was really nice and thorough and pleasant to watch as well. So, uh, yeah, I watched some videos on that to figure out what products would work for me, what I might want to try. And I purchased, I think I'm, I just got another order today. I think I have like 20 products now. So it's a little excessive, but you guys, the best part they're so affordable. They're like anywhere from $4 to I think 15 is the most expensive product. So, so affordable. And most of them are around five to seven. So it's insane. Uh, the ones I'm most excited about, as I said before, is the uh, rose hip seed oil. This one, I've been using this at night. It is so nice. It is so so, so nice. I've also been loving the Ar Argyline. <laughs> Every time I try to say it, I can't. Argyr line Solution 10%. This one is a product that's going to really help with your dynamic lines on your face. I have some on my forehead, although, you know, I'm Botoxed out right now, so you can't see a whole lot of that. Thank you. But I also have some under my eyes and it's safe to use around the eye area as well. So I've been using that. I haven't noticed results yet, but it's been two, two weeks. So I'm not going to, but I'm excited and hopeful for it. And then also their lactic acid 10%. They have a 5% as well, which is going to be on the more mild side. So, uh, but you know, <laughs> I go hard. This one is going to be a really similar product to the Sunday Riley Good Jeans at a much lower price. I believe this one is under $8. So if you've been eyeing that, I would highly suggest trying this first. They're different, you know? Uh, there's different smells, there's different ingredients in them, but it has the same kind of base, and I've really been liking this. So I'm excited to see how the two stack up to each other. Okay, this next one is almost skincare. This is the Bondi Sands Self Tanning Foam in the Ultra Dark Shade. I didn't know they had ultra dark. For the longest time I was using their regular dark, which is a pretty nice color. And with that one, I was obsessed with the formula. It was so easy to apply, you guys. It was so easy to apply. My friend Steph had told me about it and told me to try it. Actually, actually Casey did. Casey Rayton, if you guys don't follow her, you need to. I love her little Australian ass. But yeah, she was the reason why I tried this in the first place. And the formula is so nice, it blends so nicely, but the color wasn't, it was a little bit lighter than what I prefer, so when I saw they had an ultra dark formula, I was all about that life. I ordered this on Amazon, and the price was $34.99, and it was prime. I got it prime. Does that make prime ready? Whatever. That's what I'm wearing today, and this is day three, so still really nice and deep. My hands, I'm really not very good at my hands. So, but I will say that they generally look worse, if that's any sort of a gauge for you. <laughs> this is newer, but this is the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself eyeshadow palette. 
This one I've only used twice, so I don't have a ton of experience with it, but it is one product that I'm really excited about and I think is going to be amazing for the summer. They, uh, let's see, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine <laughs> shimmer shadows along the outside in one matte. I'm gonna give you guys a close up. Here is the matte shade here, and excuse my claw marks, I was a little rough with her earlier and then the center shade is a highlight not my favorite highlight I will say it's uh, got a nice pretty iridescence to it but nothing very intense which you guys know I like natural but this might be a little too natural for my taste do you see that it might be really nice though I do have to play around with it but the rest of the shades are so stunning look at those colors I'll swatch a few for you guys and you will see some of these of course in the haul uh, because I did haul this. I purchased this at Ulta last week. Here are some swatches. I mean, look at that pigment. At first I didn't know if I would need this because they're mostly kind of shimmer colors and just one matte, but I thought about it and I was like, you know, I have so many matte palettes and I'm always looking for, you know, a cool kind of foiled shade to put on my lid. So I thought this would be great to pair with anything. Plus, it's a great on the go palette too if you just want something quick, easy, maybe not so intricate, but you still want that shine. You do have that one crease color that works with every one of these. So you could totally just throw that in the crease really quick. Use your finger if you wish. I'm not a finger person really, but use your finger or a brush to apply the color to the lid and you're going to be good to go. So I am super excited about this one. I got it at Ulta. You can actually get it right now. I hope the still the sale, excuse me, is still going on. When I put this video up, I'm going to try to get this up. I will leave an annotation right here. No, sorry, I'm really bad at my job. I'll have it say if the sale is not going on, but they have 30% off sale right now. And I will shout it out on my Snapchat. I'm just reminding myself and I'm saying it out loud. As you're editing, Megan, snap about the sale. Use the code festival and you get 30% off at tart.com so that's amazing. Next is a blush that I'm really excited about. I use it today actually for the first time but after using it I can see I'm literally not going to be able to put this one down. There's no way. This is the shade Quiver and this is one of the Urban Decay, what are they called, Afterglow 8 hour blushes. That color looks a little scary but it's really not. It's not so 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 pigmented that it's going to be super easy to mess up, although it's bright, be careful. I applied this today and it gave me such a beautiful like pre-sunburn kind of a look in the best way. And I am going to love this in the summer, I know it. So if you guys are looking for a new blush color, trying to expand out of those like light pinks and fall and winter mauves, I highly suggest this. It's so beautiful and I can't wait to bring it to Florida on my vacay. <sighs> I need a vacation. Next is a lip color. I just have one. I have been getting back into bullet lipsticks lately. I find them to be so easy to apply, so nice. Even the matte ones, they're matte but not so overpoweringly matte that your lips just look flat, which listen. I'm still all about that life. This is Charlotte Tilbury's new Kate. It's not new. This is not a new shade. I've seen it everywhere, but it's fairly new to me. I may only have had this for about a month, roughly. It is the most stunning, I was wearing it throughout this whole video, the most stunning nude shade. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. I can't, like this, I will always repurchase this. The packaging, I don't know, I've decided now that it's really pretty, it's like a really pretty kind of rose gold. Um, at first I was like, that's really grandma, but I think I'm starting to embrace it. I don't know if it's just because I like the product so much, but here we go. Charlotte Tilbury's lipstick formula also is one of the best I've ever tried. So I'm thoroughly impressed with this. I think it's amazing. They're on the pricey end. So I would say if you are going to be purchasing some of her lipsticks, I bought this on Beautylish as well. Um, I believe they're $34 or $35. And that's high for me to spend on a lipstick. Just throwing that out there. But um, I would make sure that you maybe get 
you know, if you're on a budget especially, get a color that you're going to wear all the time. And that's why I love this one because it's more easy for me to justify the price if I can throw it on and wear it whenever. Next is a hair product. This is by IGK and this is their Beach Club Texture Spray. This I got from Sephora.com and it's just an aerosol uh, you can see there, it's an aerosol sea salt spray, but it doesn't overly dry my hair at all. And actually, I don't even know if it's an actual sea salt spray, because everyone that I've tried really does dry my hair out. And because I am working, you guys know I'm working with Splat right now, and I'm going from color to color to color. And the color remover, remover, removal process is really drying on my hair. So using something that's also drying is not my fave. So I love that this product gives me texture and volume and grit and kind of, you know, allows for more styling capabilities, especially. Uh, I love this. And it says on the back, it says, want that surf and sand kind of hair? This breakthrough aerosol delivers that salty, wince up look in seconds without the heaviness, stickiness, or drying. So... I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. I don't know what's in here. I don't know hair ingredients. I'm sorry. But it's great and I've tried a few things now from this IGK brand and I love them. There's this dirty, dirty hair spray that's so nice. If you guys hate the way your hair feels, this is my biggest pet peeve. If you guys hate the way your hair feels, right out of the shower and after you dry your hair uh it's so like slippery and soft and like doesn't do anything that product is amazing to give you kind of that three-day hair immediately three-day in a good way not three-day near the scalp <sighs> that's not what you want all right you guys i had more but i'm gonna call it a day because i feel like i just went i went way in depth as i normally do so i need to learn i need to learn from history, Megan, to six or seven products and stop there. I hope you guys enjoyed my favorites. I will leave links to everything down below if you guys are here to shop. Hopefully that's more helpful for you guys. I love you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber already. That's always a hard word to say, subscriber. Give this video a thumbs up if you loved it. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.